Hello and welcome to Yak Quacks Lips. My name is Michael, your point to click adventure, and this is episode 16 of Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, um, yeah, we got off the islands and faced McGillicutty. But we can't blast him, because this happens. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again, even though I did it 29 times in the previous episode. Gadonk. So there we go. We have to... I mean, let's just talk to him again. Right, so he's after the Sponge Grande and also the words that the fish woman lady man thing I'm sure the sponge needs to tell us. For all of us. Let the merleader go, I'll get the sponge, come back and cure us all. <laughs> we ain't looking for a cure, boy. We want to destroy La Sponge Grande forever. What? Listen here, fish breath. Me and my men have been running the sweet trade on these waters for decades. We've suffered everything from scurvy to man-eating shark attacks, but we ain't never seen anything like this pot. It rots our flesh, melts our teeth, and makes our eyeballs bleed. It's turned us into terrifyingly hideous monsters of the sea, and life has never been better! <laughs> you can't be serious. Aye, we like being this way. The box makes us fearsome and powerful, and we'll make us rich. It's what every pirate strives to become, Guy Brush. And I won't leave that cursed sea sponge out there just waiting to take that away. Oh no. <laughs> so he wants to destroy it. We need to find it. Please don't destroy it. Please don't destroy La Esponja Grande. My wife really needs a new loofah. La Esponja Grande is a weapon against the evolution of piracy. I must find it. I must destroy it. You must give it to me. Nice try, boy. Oh, no. Um, you're the first pirate I've met with a peg brain. I've seen a lot of pirates missing a lot of body parts, but you're the first one I've seen with a peg brain. That really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Hello. Freetwood. <laughs> Is he gone? I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. We'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicutty's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Oh no! I didn't expect that to happen. I was just catching up. Well, we know who can fix the mast. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. The people at. Set sail for uh, the spin a K. Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. No fish, no fishing. Of course, no fishing. Right. Um. Yeah. So, who was it that could fix our mast? Was it the bait? It was the bait shop, wasn't it? Let's go and get our mast fixed again. Not really sure where this is heading. I honestly didn't think that was going to happen. I thought we were going to have to like blow him up or something and instead of just talk to him and then he just do a runner. But hey ho, we're here now. I've also been told that this is very close to the end of chapter 2. So I have got chapter 3 already loaded, ready to go. So I see. What can I get you? I need a mast fixed. Um, yeah, there you go. I need my mask repaired. Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon heavy. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, how did you How'd repair, you repair it so my fast? ship so fast? Mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mass. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. <laughs> Alright. Do we need to know about the trees? I can't, I'm kind of interested about the trees. These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure. But they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Alright. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Now, the question is, um, if I just go to McGillicutty, is he just going to keep breaking my mast? Because I don't want to keep going back and forth and back and forth. 
Like, where else can I go? There's got to be some te technique to um, to bring him down. I don't want an entire episode of me just firing at him and um, him knocking me out like a pool match. All right, let's go back up here and let's see what we can find. Captain on deck. Captain on deck. That'd and be true. Sail, Mr. Winslow. Right, I am going to go to Megiddo Cutty again just to see what happens. Because he said he couldn't go there. That's where we're from. These are little islands. I mean, maybe we have to go to an island. But let's, let's try Megiddo Cutty first. Aye, aye, sir. And let's see if the same thing Shut happens. Up, scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? <laughs> Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be oh, sleeping with the fish. Main mast. That's where I sleep anyway. That's the mast. Tell Recently me, prepared. Or I'll send you to the bottom oh, of the I'm thinking, ocean. are they oh, rubber trees? Great. Maybe I can get it to bounce I need back. To pick up a few things for dinner. Um, well, right, let's talk to her. Words. What should I do? <laughs> Find some way to sink his ship. I'll be able to escape once I'm underwater. Okay, so we have to sink his ship. If I fire this cannon, it's it's not gonna it's, nothing's gonna happen either. Maybe we've got something that could rebound off the mast. Um, nothing really shouts at me. You'll Crying never tool. Never get me to tell. I don't think I can do anything useful to the mast with this. I do think it's gotta have to be like a rubber tree mast. Tell me, I'll drown you Lock in the it. Mm, no. Mm, no. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is fire this at him and see what happens. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, he's just going to... He's just going to keep firing at me and it's going to keep breaking my mask. There was a rubber tree somewhere. It was on one of those little islands, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to head to the little island. You know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't. But I really think it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. I'll get the map. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to go back to the mer people. I'm going to go Let's to one of these islands. Here, Mr. Winslow. I'm not sure which one had the rubber tree. Um, let's go there because we're close to it. Really island. Aye, aye, sir. You. You. Oh. Shouldn't He's... you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slipped past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike! I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find a blasted thing. I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. Okay, so... There's those guys. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Long walk along the beach? Fine. Just stay where I can see you and don't even think of digging out here. That treasure is ours. <coughs> ours. Oh dear. Well, of course. I'd never stand in the way of a pirate and his treasure. Okay, so what have we got that we can see here? Trench foot and hard tack. Rock. Nice rock. Nice rock. Sand. Coconut. Rubber can't tree. Just dig randomly. Can we can we cut the rubber tree down? That's what I want as a mast. Oi, don't be sneaking around trying to get our treasure. One of nature's bludgeons. Hey, no digging. Oh no, what can I do then? Um, prying tool. Let's pry the rubber tree. Bend it all the way back. Well, that's not gonna work. I've got my eye on you. All right, what else have we got around here? Is that anything? Sand, sand, sand. I mean, we haven't really got. What else can we use? The hook. Maybe use the hook. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Oh man. Um, maybe use Elaine's ring. No like way. A cutting am I tool. doing anything with this ring. No. Okay. Um. 
Can we go over here? Oh, there is a boat. Rowboat. Well, I'm out of ideas, guys. Good luck with the treasure. What's going on? Oh, okay. Welcome back, sir. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Right, do we have a saw or anything that could knock down the rubber tree? Um, I don't know. What's I mean? What's let's go over here. I love you. I I sir. Right, Royland hopping. If that's not the, the name of this episode, then I'm doing YouTube wrong. Rowboat junk. Palm tree. Hey, guess what? It's a palm tree. <laughs> guess what? Wait, do we need to, do we need to just dig? dig randomly? Murray? Jeez, what a horrible way to die. Stranded on a deserted island and stung to death by scorpions. Where have I seen that before? Oh dear. I actually don't know where he's seen that before. I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. Oh, come on. I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. Okay, so I can't go any further that way. Nice rock. Nice rock. Okay, there's nothing else here, is there? Palm tree. Skeleton. More sand. I mean, he's got the, the idle stuff, so we don't need the idols. Junk. Junky. Let's go to that last island. Good to have you back, Captain. Thanks very much. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. I mean, where else could we go? Am I in the right way, as in, like, getting the rubber tree as a replacement for a mast? It kind of seems like it should happen. I don't know. What's new in rock news? Rock cluster. It's just a rock. <laughs> it's just a rock. All right. It's just a rock. More sand? I can't just dig randomly. Okay. Let's go back. I think I'm going to go back to the first island and speak to the pirates. See what they actually want. We're done here. Back to the narwhal. Or do I? Is that what I want? Maybe I need to go talk Welcome to the Chuck, back, maybe? Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to I'm in so many different minds about what to do. And there's no point in going back to McGillicuddy because he's just going to break my ship. Again, even though it's already broken. I can't go to the Rock of Gelato. No, it says, I'm avoiding yeah, that place. I'm avoiding it. I mean, can I go back to Flotsam? Is there anything on Flotsam? I kind of don't want to. Let's go see if we can go to Flotsam. Let's head back to Flotsam Island. I'll get as close as I can. But with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. Okay, so that's as far as we can get. Which is fair enough, so we can't go there. Set Let's go back to here the then. Jerk islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Right, this time, I'm... Oh, he automatically goes here. He automatically goes to Spinner K. I want to go to, um... I want to go here. Hmm... Oh, no, I know how to get to Spinner K. It's on the raft, isn't it? I mean, not Spinner K, the um, Isle of Spoon. Or the Spoon Isles. Okay. Am I completely off on the wrong thing? Let's go and have a look. Pile of fallen logs. It's a pile of fallen trees. Okay. Um, I don't want to go walking around here. What's that? Is that like a weird cannonball that's stuck in the middle of nowhere? I don't want to bother him while he's got a cannon. Don't want to bother who? What? I have no idea what that's talking about. That looks like a floating cannonball. Am I wrong? Is it supposed to be somebody there? Well, um, where else can I go? I kind of don't want to go around the woods. Well, let's go to that teeny tiny island. Row. Row island and see what's there. And then I'm not really sure. I'm just island hopping, aren't I? Right. 
Is there a saw or anything? Oh, oh, map of the path of the mouth. Maybe that will give me the a clue. Path of the mouth. Okay. No. There is nothing extra here, is there? Nothing extra at all. Which makes me think I'm going to go back to um. I'm going to go back to the the island right at the top, top right hand corner. What was it called? Bre Brelig? Brelig Island? Sounds right. Come on then, Guybrush. And up you get. Oh. Set sail, Mr. Winslow. Impossible. Huh? We need our mast repaired before oh, we can come set on, man. see again. Alright. Well. Let's go back and get a new mast then. Oh, it is a bit of a pain in the backside, this. So my thoughts whilst I'm walking is that I need to find some kind of saw or something and I need to knock down that rubber tree. Because I am thinking rubber mast. So that when he fires it at the mast, it bounces back on himself. Alternatively, I reinforce the mast that I have with some kind of spindle or I don't know. Coupons only. Me again. So I see. What can I get you? Uh, mast, please. I'm back. I'm on it. All set. Thanks. Brilliant. Let's go. Good. Thanks very much. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Come on then. Let's go. This is the one. I can feel it. I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to go back to that island in the top right. Brelig, I think it's called. And speaking to the two pirates. Because they're on the lookout for the gold, aren't they? We'll talk to them and we'll see what they can do. Maybe, maybe we can tell them that it's beneath the tree or something. And they cut the tree down. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Prepare Arr. to set sail, Mr. Winslow. I mean, he just says maybe he could. I need to look around for something to plunder. Onward to Brillig Island. Maybe there's some aye, more aye, stuff sir. that I need from that aisle. I'm back. Find that treasure yet? Oh, we will. Don't you worry your little pirate head about it. Right, let's talk to him. Go away, hook boy. We don't oh, have come time on. for you. Oh, come on. I thought we were friends. Especially after all the help I gave you guys earlier. Yeah, let's, let's tell him where it is. So, can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's him. It's just, well, we reburied it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. Sounds like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. Yes, that one. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What, you think I am? Some kind of backhoe? Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? That makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I, you... <laughs> Uh, okay, try the tree again. Yes, let's just get the tree again. Get the tree down. Ah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Okay. Um, I'll leave you guys to it. I'll leave you guys to it. Maybe Arr. I can finish off the tree with the crowbar. Come on, Garbage, a bit quicker. Uh, right. Crowbar on rubber tree. I know that seems like a good idea. Oh come on! But it's, not. it's a brilliant idea. Mm. Tim Boing? <laughs> uh, what'd you do that for? You're messing up our hoe! <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. Tim Boing? Okay, now the question I is, Cam... I have past the need to carry rubber trees in my pants. I'll just leave it here. Oh, no, come on. Um. Okay, let's go back to them over here. And see if... Now that we've moved it... Maybe... Hi. 
Ah, boy. Okay, what you could do is possibly put it under the rubber tree. The um, the golden turtle. Or was it the seahorse? Golden seahorse. And they find it, but then they take the tree with them, maybe? Buy the tree again? Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. No, okay. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. Arr. Okay, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use the idol with the tree. And although they will get the idol back... These summoning artifacts are too important to mess uh, around no. with. I better just keep them safe. Oh, I was thinking that they could find it again, but no. Rubber tree. These summoning artifacts... No. Um, what can I do then over here? Come on, garbage, move your bottom. So essentially I need to move the rubber tree... To where the lumber pile is on the other island. Is that right? Sounds right. How do I do that? It's too heavy. It's too heavy. What do I have here? Nothing. Nothing. I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Hmm. And I can't move it. Oh, he said, hmm, he can't move it. Oh, come on. Um... Let's get them to dig elsewhere and see if that changes anything. Maybe... Hi. Ah, oh, boy. Maybe you left that coconut as a marker. Oh, yeah, smart. We used a rolling floating treasure marker. It's brilliant. Take the cook, he said. It'll be good for him, he said. <sighs> Technically, that's true. McGillicutty would have killed me if you hadn't got me off the ship. So you put the coconut where we buried the treasure? At one point, I did. It, uh, might have rolled. Fine. We will dig under the coconut. Yeah, must have rolled. <laughs> uh, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to get the... Oh, man. Hmm. I'm right. I'm thinking maybe I need the golden turtle. The fake golden turtle. I don't want to go hunting in the woods. Right, let's see what I'll they've done. Let's Arr. see if they've adjusted the landscape with this digging of theirs. Maybe I can pick up this. Put what it over here. Bludgeons. I've got no reason to pry that. Oh, I feel like I'm so close. Yeah, it's so close, it's so far. I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Hmm. I think I've grown past the need to carry rubber trees in my pan. I mean, the other option is to just go and hope that... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's for the for old time's sake, let's ask them to, to dig by the rock. Maybe... Hi. I don't oh, think it's really going to gonna help me at all, but what about why not? What about that rock eh? over there? Seems like a likely what we got to, to lose? Treasure. That's worth a shot. Fine. Nothing. Any more bright ideas? Um, try the tree again? Try the tree again? Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Oh, no. You know, I could have sworn it would be next to the rock. I mean, that's where I would have been, it? It is a pretty good place. Maybe we should check it again. I just hold on a second. I'm calling the shots here. Okay, you pick a place then. Fine, fine. We dig by the rock again, but only because it's such a bleeding small island. Well, I found something. Wait, what? What did you find? Rock. We found <laughs> rock. We found rock. Try the tree again. Try the rock again. I mean, oh, we could be all day, guys. Um. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. <laughs> Arr. Can we plant anything? I mean, maybe this by the rock. I don't I need know. To see that all warped and enlarged in manatee vision. Let's have a look. Uh uh. Nope. Okay. Do that over here. These summoning artifacts are too. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. Look around for more stuff to plunder. I can't just dig randomly. 
No, I don't want you to stick around with me. Right, okay, let's get onto this boat here. I'm going to talk to my my captain Good guy. To have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Exit. Can I exit this? I want to be. I want to talk to the to the guy on the ship. Hmm. I can't. Right. Which seems like a perfect place to um to end the episode. So I don't know. My thinking is I need to get the rubber tree off that island and to this island over here, so that my mast can be fixed with a rubber mast. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you would do and any hints and tips. Please do not directly tell me because um, that's cheating. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Much appreciated. Until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.